Okay, let us talk about the fight you had with Joe Lassisi back then. You lost that fight. You had boasted that you were going to win the fight in two rounds, but uh, you eventually lost the fight. And I remember after that fight, you, your post-match, uh, post-fight conference, actually, um, you, you said um, it's like Joe Lassisi used uh, some kind of charm on you and that you never believed in charm, but that after the fight, you felt you were being converted. At some point, you said when you were fighting him, you were seeing like double, you were seeing three or four of him and you just, that you couldn't move your arm, you couldn't move your legs, you couldn't move your body, even though you got your arm, one of your arms broken in the fight. You know, when I was coming from a background where we don't really believe in those kind of stuff, I never knew it was the way they were doing their own professional boxing in Nigeria. I was just coming from the amateur rank. And the day, the night I fought Joe Lassisi, a lot of things happened. Coach Obisa Wakba is still alive. He came to me when I was about going to the ring. And he said, he advised me not to shake hands with one man. As I was going there, the man walked up to me, I shook my hand. And Obisa said, Sherry, I said, don't shake that man. Well, me, I don't, I don't believe in those stuff. I don't know what it meant, but he didn't say anything to me. That was all he said, don't shake the man. I went in the ring, while we were fighting, the water my coach was giving me was hot. It was hot water. And my mouthpiece, he kept forgetting my mouthpiece. I would say, coach, my tooth guide. And sometimes I would say, coach, I, I think in the, round six, in the sixth round, I said, hey, coach, I'm not seeing this man. I told Charles Monkolo, my team, I said, Charles, I'm not seeing this guy. He said, don't worry, you will see him. So I was, as I was fighting, I see Joe Lassisi. I see him, but he's blunt. Sometimes I see like six people standing in front of me. I don't know which one is this guy. Then at the time I broke my arm, I quit in the eighth round with the second south, round eight. I raised up my hand said, I can no longer fight. I'll call it a quit. You don't think he got so prepared for this fight and that he beat you because you had boasted before the fight that you were going to beat him in round two. So he just got himself very prepared and uh, eventually beat you. No. See, that, those were things I never knew in boxing. Then I was just cutting, cutting my infant tooth in professional boxing. And I know how they operate. But do you know that day when I came back from loot, I was in the hospital. I was putting the cast in my right hand. A boy, a boy of about 16 came up to me and said, as you go back of the sports hall, that there's a fire he prepared. They told him not to make the fire, make sure the fire don't quench. That I should go and pack those arches and go and pour them in the Babish River, in the, in, the, in the sea, sorry. That if I don't do it, anytime I fight, what happened to me will happen to me again. And I did. And I asked him, how much were you paid? He said he was giving 50 copper then. He was giving 50 copper. I said, well, thank God. And that was how the whole thing happened. Then years, years, years passed when I I gone to US and fought. I fought, I fought for the California title, I fought for the Junior World title, which I did not win. I fought good fights in the, in the States. I fought uh, this guy from, uh, from Washington, which everybody is so afraid of. After the fight, Donald Trump gave us $2,000 each. You know, so by the time I came back to Nigeria, in 92, 1994, Hunter Clay came, walked up to me at the Carter Best restaurant in the National Stadium and said he has a confession to make. I said, what is your confession? That he, Hunter Clay, took Lassisi to a place called Isaleko. I don't know the place. That whatever they did was not to kill me or to do anything, but just to bring down my popularity that I was too popular. 
that they just want me to go down. I told Dr. Clay then, I said, I've forgiven you. Because he said I should forgive you. I said, if God can forgive us, who am I not to forgive you? Go and buy me something to eat. He bought me food, I ate and that was it. Yeah, because Lassizi is not a boxer. Even up to date, he's not a boxer. He doesn't know how to box. But bo boxing is not just coming and fighting like a bull. He must have some scientific approach to boxing. He is not a boxer. And if I see him, I will still tell him he's not a boxer and he doesn't know how to box. Boxing is, is more to what we see. You must have your ring craft. You must master the ring. Show what you can do in the ring. That is why they say, I am Nigeria Muhammad Ali. Because I try to be like Ali. Now, this is just raw. Very raw and it's still raw to tomorrow. He's my friend, but uh, he's not a boxer.